Hello all, Dave Kleber here, KB3FXI with PANBEMS, a short training video on how to use the new FLMSG uh, form-based software program that's part of the NBEMS suite. And I want to go over a few changes that have been made from the uh, uh, previous FLMSG uh, versions. Uh, the main thing is you'll see there's no tabs for the different forms anymore. Uh, that's been done now with a drop-down box because the, the tabs were getting kind of clustered with all the addition of uh, new features. Uh, what we want to do is we want to go to form and drop down and click on the CSV button there. And CSV stands for comma separated value uh, It's commonly used for spreadsheets and databases. So the assumption here is that you've been given a thumb drive like a USB thumb drive from your served agency and they've asked you to transmit a list of uh, medications that are needed for an emergency situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on import CSV. Uh, you need to know how to navigate your file system so if you don't know how to do that you'll, you'll need to learn that on your own. I'm going to click my computer button here and then I'm going to drop down in my thumb drive that I'm using is the K drive here. You'll see there's a CSV uh, uh, folder that I've made and there's my medication list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click on open and you can see that that puts the comma delimited uh, file in the uh, window here. Uh, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file, wrap, export. I'm going to leave the default name here as it is and click save. And then that's going to uh, do the wrap function so that the checksum is, is uh, surrounding the uh, the data that we want to send. So I'm going to minimize this now and I've created a send uh, shortcut on my desktop and I'm going to go and here's my uh, created file. I'm going to drop that down into the transmit window and you'll see that now that whole file, the common uh, separated uh, file, is in there but it's also surrounded with the uh, codes for the checksum and for the FLMSG codes. So all that's uh, needed to do now is to go ahead and transmit this message. You can add additional text on uh, for your uh, the receiving stations. There's a little description of, as to what you're doing. Uh, but all you have to do here now is, is hit the receive button at the end and then hit transmit and that sends off your data. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and we're transmitting the uh, message to show you what is uh, required for receiving. And uh, here in a second you'll see the uh, text starting to run through. There's my uh, beginning of the wrap file there. FLMSG identifies what type of a form it is. And you see the uh, medication list here coming through. We'll go ahead and pause this and then I'll pop back on here when it hits the end of the uh, transmission. Okay, and we're getting down to the end of the transmission here, so I'm the receiving station. You'll see at the end here, uh, when the wrap information comes up uh, at the end, that gives us the checksum, and then you'll see there's my uh, pop-ups, and this is my default browser that shows the received CSV file there, and a nice uh, form that you would be able to print up uh, from your web browser to hand to a served agency. But also there's the uh, CSV file in the FLMSG form, and that can be exported just by doing that and then sending that out to whatever folder that you would like to send it to. Uh, additionally, you have your received folder I had set to pop up, and there's my uh, extract file there. So I hope you find that helpful. Get on some nets and uh, practice along with uh, doing the uh, CSV function on FLMSG. PANBEMS nets, we're going to be uh, doing some practice with this and we're looking forward to it. Uh, feel free to join our Yahoo news group and that uh, news group is uh, called PANBEMS. Thanks very much. Drop me a line at kb3fxi at yahoo.com if you have any questions or comments. 73.